Go. Bah. Hello. Welcome, you guys. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Don't mind me. I'm just here with my two bodyguard Ians. Body guardians. That's that was whatever. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Rejected father. My kids love you. That's well, hell yeah. That's that's pretty cool. Thanks. Wait, I have to sip my coffee. Hold on. You guys know the drill by now. I got I got coffee. I got to sip it. Many offensive bias sentinels. Erm, actually, I'll have you know, an offensive bias actually just took the shell of a guardian sentinel. Holy shit, the rock guy has rock body body. Yeah, I can't even say that. Fuck it. I mean, frick it. Gosh darn it. Fricking heck. We're safe. Oh, right. I forgot. I forgot to clear out the tip bar from yesterday. My bad. My bad. Hold on. I'm, I'm fixing the tip bar. Today it's gonna say uh daily uh daily uh mod goal. Guys, it is very important that today we hit the daily uh mod goal. You have to understand. I heard it. What was that? Cat kitten? Wait, my webcam's not even on yet. Turn it on. Wait, hold on. I have to fix my thing. Give them something to look at. Oh, it's so cute. Chat, what is that? Oh, I, oh, I gotta fix the CSS on this. I, I gotta fix my tip. Oh my god, it's so small. Oh, it's so tiny. Okay, you guys want to see something? Oh. Guys. Look at that thing. It's so tiny. It's so small. Well, you gotta take it. It likes you. Hey. What's up, little one? See, look, it stops crying when I give it to you. Yeah, because it likes me a lot. He likes you. Guys, look at this thing. Dinner. <laughs> Dinner, no. We're gonna name him Cornmeal. Yeah, this is... This is dinner right here. Look how tiny it is. It's so precious. Are you, you feeling better now, little one? It's just a small baby. Oh, cat DLC, so yes. This is Drake's new cat. Well, it might become my new cat. We'll see. He wants to name it Osiris. Osiris. Because his mom's an Egyptian male. She's not an Egyptian male. She looks like it, though. Are you okay, little one? It's so tiny. It's so cute. Guess how many kittens cat shot? Guess how many? Name the cat Buck. I actually do like that name. Name it Master Chief. I can name him Dave. There's seven kittens. <laughs> what are these little noises he's making? 117, you're close. Seven kittens, chat. Was Weasel Prego? No, th these are uh, foster kittens. I would explain why she was so fat. <laughs> okay, well, take that back, all right? Weasel is a very healthy weight, I'll have you it's know. It's at least 100 calories. He wants to go back Ooh. to his mama. You want to go back to mama? Is that it? They're too young to be away. I just you wanted wanna... to show you guys the kitten. And it's so hot up here. I know. You're safe, you're safe, you're safe. It's okay. Pouch. Be absorbed into the pouch. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Pouch. Oh, they're so cute. I love them so much. They're so adorable. Is he new? Yes, yes. I am debating adopting that one. Name him Dustin Echoes. Alright, well that's that's a good start to the stream, dude. You get some tiny little kitten content. Like you can't complain about that. I don't think there's a person alive who could look at that and be like, oh I hated that. Why is it screaming? Okay, it's fine now. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. My roommate went ahead and decided to start um like adopting those kittens, but I think the mom cat might be my favorite. She's like this really loving, cute. Cat that looks like an Egyptian mesh. Kind of looks like a lynx, like a desert lynx, if there was such a thing. 
Name the Kitty Cat Bo Jaden. Yo, oh sorry, I missed the uh, Skaboodly with the two said cat DLC. Yes. Also, Demon with the two said cat DLC. Yes. I wanted to name him Osiris. I think it's kind of a badass name because one day he's going to be like a big, mean looking cat. Be like, this is Osiris. Do not fuck with Osiris. Seriously, though, name him Hydrogen Bomb and then add him to Halo. Imagine that I invite a girl over, you know, for uh, just, you know, just a little Netflix and chill. Cat runs up on the bed. She's like, oh my god, he's so cute. And I'm like, yeah, his name's Hydrogen Bomb. Bast is the cat god? Yeah, but Osiris just sounds cool. Is it Bast? Hold on. Egyptian cat god. I'll have you know it was Bastet, actually. We are talking of Bastet, the cat god. There are a couple of cat gods. Good. Good. Is that THE Milkman with a fiver? Yo! Welcome back! The Milkman. It's good to see you, man. Guess who's back? Um, you. Am I right? Tell me I'm right. When Helldivers mod for ODST? Well, it's funny that you ask that. Because, uh... You know, you know, I did spend a lot of time on the ODST drop pods recently. You know, that did happen. And they're still up there. Holy shit! Milkman gives them 50 memberships! What?! Holy shit! That's crazy, dude! Are you serious? What? Holy shit, bro. Thank you for the 50 gifted. Good God! That's crazy! God damn! Thank you so much. That's super generous. It's the first time it's happened in this stream that we got a gifted, so I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it, alright? Gifting memberships is the most generous way to gift... Uh, to support the stream because of course it benefits me like all forms of, of support through streams do but it also benefits other people and gives them cool benefits such as being able to join supporter chat in the discord server which also gets them access to the game nights which I almost always stream here on YouTube thank you so much for that milkman that's fucking crazy dude god damn god damn much appreciated this is a certified drop pod worthy moment. We do it for her. We do it for her. Nice. Nice. Just send a work in progress? Oh, what are you working on in progress? Ooh! Now this. This is good. You guys want to see what Skaboodly is cooking up? Damn, Skaboodly is cooking. Milkman, thank you so much for that. We are now both cursed and blessed for the next many minutes of... Oh. Thank you so much for that, dude. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. But all right, here you guys go. Here's what Skaboodly's cooking. Check this out. I think you guys are going to appreciate this. You already know Skaboodly's got his Mark IV armor. He's got his whole mod and everything. That looks incredible. Absolutely amazing. And guess what is returning? Skaboodly is fully modeling out the classic Halo CE, Halo Wars style AR. Check it. That looks so clean, that sculpt. Like, yes, he has not yet begun texturing it. He only has the base materials, but the high poly sculpt of this looks fucking good. I love the way that you detailed this, Skaboodly, because not only did you manage to avoid all of the crazy amounts of detail that, like, Halo 5 and all that put in to the AR, but you also managed to include more detail that still looks simple and good. Like, bro, how do you manage it? You just get it, dude. You literally just get 
how to make Halo's simple style look good. It's crazy. Also, I love the classic CE. Oh my god, the way that you... Enhance. The way that you did this, the topology and the shape of the ammo counter, that is always my biggest gripe when I see other people make ammo counters for the CEAR. It's really getting stroked right now. I, I have to gush about this. I really do. Because people get this wrong so often. The shape and like the bending and like how to get the shape right on this, which is what you're basically staring at most of the time you're holding an assault rifle in first person. It's really important to get it right. And he actually nailed it. I think this might be the first time somebody's like properly nailed it. Even that really nice looking assault rifle um, that Skaboodly had was using, I, I forget who made it, didn't get that right. But Skaboodly, of course he figured it out. Of course he did. No, no. Wait, I was going to do this because I didn't want to make you do something so stupid. Guys, guys, for those of you who were uh, near the end of the stream yesterday, <laughs> Skaboodly did something more important than any of the vehicles he's worked on. He did something more important than this assault rifle, more important than anything else. Before I show it though, Demon, thank you very much for the fiver. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. You said only if you drop what you're doing and go to work on his stuff with him. We hit that reach tip goal a while ago. Wait, what is that in reference to? Is that in reference to something else? I'm sorry, I forgot what it was in reference to. Redacted data expunged within two months. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it. You said you should name your kitten Enrico Fermi. Well, I am named Drake, which could be named after the Drake equation. Also, Sir Francis Drake. I know my dad just wanted me to have a cool, powerful name, and it worked. I love my name. But, uh, you know, Enrico Fermi and Drake, not bad. All right, but here, this might be the most important thing Skabuli's ever worked on. Guys, keep in mind, all right, Skabuli's probably been working on this for a couple months now. He hasn't wanted to show it off for a while because I know this is like a really big deal. So this this might be the coolest thing Skabuli's ever made. And keep in mind, it's a work in progress. So don't judge it too harshly, okay? It's like he's still working on it. It'll probably be like another year before he's done. But check this out. You guys are not going to believe this. Look at that, dude. Coke and fries Halo. It's real, dude. It's real. Real Coke and fry Halo. Holy fuck. Oh my god. He actually is doing it. Coke and fry Halo. It's real. <laughs> Weasel. No, come back. I didn't mean to scare you. Weasel, no! Did he make Coke and Fry Halo? Holy shit. <laughs> Not this tangent again. Skaboodly, I don't know if you saw. I was gonna uh, sit in Photoshop for a while. Somebody posted yesterday in stream chat. Hold on, let me... I'm gonna send it to you, Skaboodly. I, was, I, I need to unwrap it in Photoshop, but somebody has a video that is perfect for unwrapping. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Demon, think about it. We could have Coke and Fry Halo in every single mod. Every time you pick up this weapon, it would be like, in 2007, Burger King, and then you would just hear it. And you would be informed. If this isn't art, I don't know what is. If you unwrap it and send me the textures, I can slap it on there. Bet. I absolutely will. I almost did it last night, actually, but I decided to get actual work done on the mod instead because I've been kind of lazy recently. Well, also sick, but inadvertently lazy because of that. Look, I'm a guardian. Yo, demon! Thanks for the five, man. Appreciate it. Skaboodly, I'll pay you not to finish Coke and Fry's Halo. Why would you do such a thing? That's an affront against God. Coke and Fry Halo is very important, I'll have you know. Very, very important. Do not diss the Coke nor the Fry. And especially not Halo. Playable offensive bias. Everybody keeps saying this is offensive bias, alright? Listen. Listen, offensive bias just took, just took one of the shells of a guardian. It's still a guardian. It's still a guardian at the end of the day, all right? But guess what? You guys might be like, wow, I bet Rejected didn't do fucking anything because he's just been sick and he's, he just doesn't do anything. Wrong. I did everything. 
check this out. I did it all. What's that, a uh, spawner sentinel? Ooh, I think it is. What's that, a uh, spawner enforcer? Probably use a little bit of help, I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, it kind of spawns in the ground at the moment. But it is an enforcer. And on top of that, get this. Spawner guardian. They're all here. The gang's all here. We got all the sentinels vibing out. Looking pretty good, right? Not bad. But then you might be like, okay, that's cool, but you only did three Mr. Erm rejected, even though you did also the logo thingy. Yo, demon! No, wait, I already read that one. I'm not gonna read that one again. That's sacrilege. But Caddyus, thank you for the two! <laughs> Love how he just went, yay! Listen, the ground is a void that consumes all. But yeah, you know, there was those, and you might be like, oh, that's kind of neat, I freaking guess. Not really that big of a deal, but you know what is a big deal? I'll show you what's a big deal. Oh, by the way, I love that Milkman's gifted memberships are just still, they're still going. They're going to be here forever. For <laughs> like, literally ever. Oh, what's that? The, the flood combat spawner that we did the, uh, what, yesterday? Yes, and also the other flood combat, the elite, is also in. And did I mention the brutes also in? I also have them in the wrong team, but we don't talk about it. Oh, is that a flood ranger? Oh, is that a flood stalker? Ooh, is that a flood tank? Yeah, that's right. The gang's all here. Oh my god, they can morph. What the fuck? How come they can morph? I thought I disabled their morphing. Jesus Christ. Clownswell with the 10 gifted. Yo, thank you. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Let's fucking go. Thank you so much. That's fucking sick. Be sure to thank both Milkman and Clouds Wolf if you got gifted a membership. They're both so dope for that. That's wild. All right, real talk, guys. Real talk. Do I upscale the Enforcer? Okay. When I made the Enforcer, I made it before... Oh, look at that. I made the Enforcer before I learned to upscale models and textures. This thing is really old. Do I... Do I fix it? <laughs> Part two, continued. Various independent sources have tried to verify the authenticity of the supposed promotion, which much speculation and hearsay, but now in 2024, we have the technology to verify. This is incredible. How, how do we even have this technology? I just don't, I don't even know. This is insane. Well, I don't know. This is a really uninteresting fight they're doing right now, but it's cool, I guess. Yeah, do I upscale this? Because, uh... Like, it's pretty blurry. It's literally just Halo 2 texture quality. Halo 2 model quality. Not that Halo 2 model quality is bad on a Sentinel, to be honest. Like, it's pretty obvious that it's... Oh, wait, no. It's not even shaded right. No way. Oh, man, I have to fix it now. I can't just leave it like this. It's all blobby. It doesn't even have good shading. No way, dude. That's wild. No, I have to fix it. It would literally take me like 30 minutes to fully re-fix this thing from the ground up. Honestly, it's not even that bad. Seriously, finished Ultimate Fours. There's so much going on now. AI Flood Sentinels and really good looking drop pods. I know. I want to touch this guy up because I don't feel like including a crappy version of the Enforcer. I want to, you know, up him a little bit, give him a little bit of extra detail, actually give him shading that's not just smooth shading everywhere. And then, uh... Literally, the only things holding back the mod, besides maybe touching up a little bit of the content in it, is uh, fixing the map right now, because the fog leaks into other regions. So I just need to redo some of the map geo, add some more vertices and things, pretty straightforward stuff. But also, but also, uh, I need to make the final terrain pieces, which is literally like a 30 minute job of just copying, pasting, and editing, you know, UVs in the shaders. 
That's it. That's all I got to do. Fix those two major issues, and theoretically, I can throw this up on the Steam Workshop for a test, and then any bugs that arise, I can fix and tweak, and then release this thing for everyone finally on the Steam Workshop. It'll be fantastic. Oh, I'm so excited, man. This mod's nearly complete. I'm so excited. Oh, excuse me. So this is basically like the home stretch stream, like actually for real, for real finishing. Well, I don't want to promise that it's going to be done today. I would say in the next couple of days, because what always happens is I'm confident that this mod is like very close to completion. And then like, I don't know, random shit will just be like, I'll forget. Like I, I there's so many things, like another thing I just forgot about, I need to redo the entire forge list. I need to redo a bunch of forge strings. Um, I still need to place down AI waypoints. And I need to make sure that I have zones for both flying sentinels and, like, regular guys. I don't need to add pathfinding to all objects right now, but I would like to do that at least in a future update, like a patch to it. Forget Mac effect. Yeah, I mean, that's not the most important thing, but yeah. I might even include that in a future patch. But yeah, that is also something I want to do, at least at some point. But that's not, like, critical to getting the mod out. That's something that I can, like, add later, because really the frigate is just for fun, right? It's just like a forge fun thing. You're never really going to include it in a map in a multiplayer game test. Uh, what was that one thing we had to download to join the test lobbies? Or was that for something else? You don't have to do that anymore, Nick. Uh, that was like an old thing, the Halo mod launcher that people tried to, to get working. And it was all right, but uh, you just don't need that anymore. Alexander, thank you for the two. Thank you, thank you. When resume space mod? Need more space battles. After Ultimate Forge. After Ultimate Forge, I'm going back to the space mod again. I'm going to go back to Reach after Ultimate Forge. Maybe some extinction actually, but I, I know the space mod is close enough to a like early beta version that I kind of just want to work on that for now. That way I can go work on extinction after that without feeling too guilty about not having released like a beta version. Like an alpha version more like. Ow! But yeah, uh, space mod after Ultimate Forge, which... Shouldn't be too much longer. Dude, I'm so excited for Ultimate Forge game nights. I'm so excited. I want people to be, like, making really cool maps every single game night in Ultimate Forge. Like, don't get me wrong. I love huge grass, but Ultimate Forge has so much potential. Like, it, it, every match could be, like, a completely different type of map because of all the various biomes and all the terrain pieces. Like, no single map is going to be like another. Do you ever make a checklist? I send the to-do list for I have trepanation. Yes, I do often make checklists. Um, I should start making a finalized checklist for this. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna do that right now. Let me, I'm gonna write this out, and at the same time, I'm gonna tell you guys what it is that I have left to do on this. So, I, I do, oops, that's script. So I have, I have this. This is my redo of all the strings in Ultimate Forge. For all the new stuff, which is a lot. But yeah, it's pretty good. Um, first things first, I, this is not super important, but I'm going to do it. Uh, redo Sentinel Enforcer model. Easy. Then we need to create large and huge versions of all terrain objects, which we already have the entire grass biome done, so that's already accounted for. We just have to do that for three other biomes. Probably knock that out in like 30 minutes. Uh, then add pathfinding to both BSPs. Which, that's just a tedious process. Probably another 30 minutes, no biggie. Um, test and fix new AI animations for potential desync, right? Because I added all this flood and the flood are probably going to have some weird desync issues, but I can only find that out after putting the map as a test workshop version. Um, oh yeah, reorganize and redo entire forge list. I need to just delete the whole forge list and completely make a new one so that it's really organized. So I need to like finalize all the objects and then completely reorganize it. Which should be pretty good. And then cut un 
Net unnecessary. I think it's two S's in it. Unnecessary forge objects from list to keep item count under 255. Because you can only have 255 objects in forge. So if it comes to it, because I added so many new AIs to the mod and so many new forge objects, I may have to cut out some of the boring stuff, like all the crates and little pieces and towers and scenery. Um, so I might have to cut some of those out. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I miss Halo when there was no three. Whoa! Hey, you take that back. Halo 3 is the best video game of all time ever. All right, I'll have you know. You can't say that. You're going to jail. I think that's everything I can think of. As far as my list goes, if I do all of this, the mod is for sure ready for a test version. I will say I probably should, this is not 100% needed, but at some point, um, let's do not needed for release, which is upgrade the multiplayer scarab. Um, get Halo 2 giant scarab working in multiplayer. Um, what else? Add a crashed phantom? I think... Oh no, you're right, I only have a crashed pelican. I, th I think. No, I think I added a crashed phantom too. I I'm pretty sure I did. Imagine getting your membership milestone. Did I miss it? I was so focused. Bjorno! I did miss a membership milestone. Thank you for the 13 months. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. 13 months is a long ass time. God damn. You know it's Coke and Fries Halo because Halo 3. Yeah, actually, I don't think any of the other games had Coke and Fries Halo, so... Just throwing it out there, it's kind of a big deal. Kind of, kind of a big deal. Like... You're like, oh, Halo 3 is not the best. Yeah, but it had Coke and Fries Halo, so obviously it was. Like, if you're sitting there and you're like, well, it doesn't matter. It didn't have Coke and Fries Halo. You're just wrong. All right, just, just stop talking. You don't know what you're talking about. All right, what else? I, I don't think anything else. I could also put Redo Sentinel Enforcer model as a unnecessary thing. But also, since, we're stream since I'm streaming right now, I want to do something that's, like, fun and interesting. And spamming a bunch of... Uh, Pathfinding points is boring. Duplicating a bunch of terrain parts are boring, so I'm not going to do those two on the stream. Reorganizing the forge list is really boring. Um, cutting forge objects needs testing, and this needs testing. So all of like the things that are going to make the map like complete, one, are really quick, and two, are super boring. So I'm just going to do those all off stream, like tonight and tomorrow off stream. But the fun stuff, the cool and interesting stuff that just like enhances the mod and makes it better, um, I'm gonna do those today on stream because I think it'd be a lot cooler to see an upgraded version of the Sentinel Enforcer. In fact, let's let me screenshot this real quick. There's a little screenshot sound. Uh, let's do it. I'm gonna do a screenshot here from this angle, and then we can look back on this compared to the Sentinel Enforcer that I'm gonna upgrade right now. Goss Goose. The Goss Goose is, funnily enough, a completely functional and complete vehicle. Like it's it's literally it just it works. It's completely done. It's it just it's good. It's done. <laughs> it's, it's complete. Top tier vehicle. Wait, it needs a lot of knockback though. This thing does not have knockback at all. All right, just as a as a side tangent, really quickly. Well, let's just, let's make the Goss Goose work even better. Just like, let me cook here for a second. Holy shit. Wait, Skaboodly, your to-do list on Halo Wars is crazy. You have a lot of stuff on here. Damn. You wanna, oh, I don't wanna read some of this out in case it's a surprise, but damn, some of those are really dope. Let me cook, let me cook. Yo, Alexander, thank you for the two! Appreciate that. He'll reach Ultimate Forge planned at some point. Mmm. Maybe. The original Extinction, I don't know how much you guys recall, but the original Extinction was basically Halo Reach Ultimate Forge. 
where like it was not a set map the way the current extinction was it was just the biggest blank canvas i could find in campaign with a shit ton of custom forge objects uh you can read it if there's anything i send you in confidence i'll say it's in confidence okay okay hold on before i i will read it but i was doing something oh gosh goose okay hold on sorry that's why I, I cannot lose my train of thought just yet hold on hold on hold on Have you seen Curse Taylor Reach is officially a thing? I have not. I have not seen it. Hold on. But I, is it any good? I, I presume it's not made by Inferno. I, I assume it's probably made by somebody else. Not that that like necessarily matters, but... My initial thought was, oh, did Inferno make it? Army of Drakes made it? Really? Oh, you're talking about all his ultimate forge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. What does this do? Refresh. How powerful is the Goss Goose? I think I may have made it too powerful. Ah, it's a slightly too powerful. Only like a little though. Like, like maybe I could just tone that down like 10%. Maybe like 1%. Okay, that's pretty good. That's, that's better. <laughs> it's perfect! I love it. <laughs> it just stops me on a dime. Oh, I couldn't have asked for any more. I really couldn't have. It's it's so good. Oh! Oh god. It's the enforcer. I can't shoot it, it's too high up, they don't aim up! Oh! Oh! God damn it! Oh my god, it's, it's the worst thing ever, dude, I hate driving it. Is it even gonna shoot me? Oh, it's gonna shoot me. Oh god, oh god. Dude, my mong- okay. This mongoose rolls all the time. I don't know if the regular mongoose has like some special physics, but mine just never stops rolling over. I need to- I just need to- I need to look at this so I don't lose my mind and then we'll do the enforcer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, there's an inertia tensor scale that it needed that I didn't have. Oh, it had a center of mass offs. Oh, thank God. This, this makes me feel so much better. Angular dampening 1.1. Oh, there's actually reasons for why it was terrible to drive. Okay. Much better. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That handles so much better. Holy hell. Oh. Oh, God. Oh god. Nice. Is that the World of the World tripod sound? No, this is my own sound I cooked up. Does it even have a collision model? Like, goddamn, I can't shoot this thing at all. Oh, right. Wait, I have another thing I gotta write down before I hit this stomp. Um, I need to fix... This is very important. Uh, fix performance throttles stopping certain 
particle FX. For some reason, ever since I changed the performance throttles, I have way more lights and way more light volumes available, but not particles. It screwed them up somehow. So when I do my jump jet, you can barely see any smoke coming out. Also, now that I'm looking at the Enforcer, I'm realizing chances are this thing is like pretty cursed. It's, it's really old. I made it a long time ago. I love that I spent the time to make the garbage pieces for it, and I'm not even going to touch those. Like, I really, I mean, I'll, I'll upgrade, like, the materials to be sure, but I'm not going to mess with the models. It's fine. It's good enough. Yo, Demon! Thank you for the two. Appreciate it. You should look it up. George is a Super Saiyan. George is a Super Saiyan. Uh... Okay. Oh my god, that thing got fucked up by the Enforcer. Okay, I, I'm i gonna look at the Enforcer really quick though. I need to... Oh yeah, wait, check this out. I forgot about this. I was trying to get a Godzilla tail wag animation earlier. I just got bored and I was like, let's do some Godzilla stuff. Look, he's happy. Nah, it's not actually that good. This part looks kind of nice. The way it's kind of dynamic and flowy, but the beginning part less so. Anyway, let me open up the Enforcer. Give me just a moment. I'll find it in somewhere. Where art thou, Sentinel Enforcer? Oh, there it is. Wait, what? Is this it? Oh my god. Yeah, it has no sharps marked. That's a problem. That is a problem. Uh, yeah, that is that is gonna be an issue. Yo, Damon! Thanks for the two, man. Appreciate it. I'm talking about Cursed Reach. It's great. Okay, what is... George is Super Saiyan. Halo, cursed Halo Reach. George is a Super Saiyan. Okay, what? There's so many, all these videos are like hours long. I, I can't find a clip of it. Can you link a clip of it to me? All the videos are like super long. It's not the Needler Godzilla though, that's true. Did you guys see the new Needler Godzilla? In the new, in the new Godzilla movie coming out? Godzilla has uh he's got a needler built in. Check it out. Built in needler Godzilla. Yo Ray with the membership. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Those fucking F bomb grenades. I haven't seen anything about Curse Taylor Reach. Maybe maybe it'd be worth playing on stream. That'd be a lot of fun actually. Would you guys want to watch me play Curse Halo Reach? I wonder if I can rope green in again, like the time we played Curse Halo. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. Maybe we can do that really soon then. I don't know if Green would want to do it. I feel like he'd probably be down. I'll ask him. Yes, but finish Ultimate Forge first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. I'll, I'm working on this right now. I, I'm going to finish it. but I Because it might take a couple streams to beat Cursed Halo Reach. Because the game's kind of long. That's like at least a two-stream endeavor. <laughs> at least. So, yeah. Okay. Interesting, the enforcers here. You can clearly see why the shading was messed up. There are no like sharps marked anywhere at all on this thing. So uh, that's a little bit troublesome, but I have a foolproof method of getting this working now. So I'm actually gonna use that to get the entire model set and I'm gonna import it into this to keep all of like the changes I made. I'm gonna quickly check though. No prefixes at all at any of the bones. Good, good. We can keep that in check then. So then here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to go off screen for a second, open up my old, old, old blender back in the back in the good old days of regular blender 3.0, not 2.79. I'm sorry. I want to blue ball you and say I extracted scarab textures, but in reality, I have not quite yet done it. If you manage that, that would be awesome. That would be so awesome. 
Although technically we still need the model though. I know somebody ripped the model at one point, but like, I don't think they ever released it as far as I know. I don't think they did. All right, let's see if I can find in extracted. Do we have Sentinel? Okay, it's not there. Maybe it's under objects, characters. Nope. You know what that tells me is I extracted this from Halo. No, did I really not? <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, my goodness. Okay, hold on. We're going to have to extract the Sentinel again from Halo 2. All right, let's see here. Tool, extract, render data. Is it the same command? Let's see. Do we have all the extract commands? Tool, extract, we have render, physics, and collision. Okay, that's good enough. Render, data, objects, characters, sentinel, uh, enforcer, slash sentinel, enforcer. Nice. And then we'll do the same thing with the collision model for it. I think all these are set and I don't have to do anything, but you never know. Better to have them than not to have them. But this will basically let me get all the good stuff. All right, they're all extracted, so let's try that again. There it is. Let's grab the render model. We want, I only want, I guess I do want all the damage states. Let's copy that. We'll do the, the base Sentinel Enforcer, all right? This is uh, the boy, the big boy. And then I want to run the import fix-ups on it. I think, no, you know, I think I can import all of them and do fix-ups. I hope. We'll do medium and destroyed. And then we'll try running import fix ups. Did that fix it? There we go. They're all fixed up. Nice. You love to see it. Hide all of these. Okay. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah, well, uh, I'd we'll just look at the base one. Yeah, you can see there were supposed to be sharps marked all over this thing that never quite got marked correctly, but now they're here. I mean, theoretically, I could mark them myself, but I think it's probably quicker to just do this. Besides, I need to upscale this and upres it anyway. So let's try that real quick. So first thing, when it comes to upresing a model. I'm just going to, and this is, by the way, not, I'm not going to say that this is like the right way to do it or anything, because I don't think it is. And I'm not even sure if it's necessary on this to be totally real, because Sentinels are like very blocky, but it could be worth it. I don't know. Sentinels are very blocky Forerunner creations. I feel like upscaling the model is kind of pointless. You know, like why, why even bother? Maybe I could just do the materials after all. Yeah, maybe I'll just do the textures. Like, I'm doing all this effort, but like, I don't know, man. Sentinels are really blocky things. Like the enforcers, I mean. The main issue I have is not with the models, but the textures. Like, good God, man, those pixels. Those fucking pixels. Projector, are you interested in adding the Halo 3 Sentinel constructor, constructors? The really small ones? You know, I thought about it, because it's like, why not just add more? But the Sentinel constructors don't really do anything and they'd kind of be a waste of space on the map like you could spawn in a whole elite or a whole like hunter or something not that i have hunters in right now instead of that but yeah so probably not to be real uh not too too much i can do with it but what i can do is get these goddamn textures in and for that i do have to open halo 2 gorilla we're gonna have to poke through here real quick i'm gonna go to Objects, characters, sentinel, enforcer. We're going to snag these shaders. So thankfully it doesn't have too many shaders. I'm actually not going to touch the energy shield. I'm a, I'm personally a fan of how I got the energy shield working on the uh, enforcer. Where is the enforcer? Oh, over here. I'm a fan of how I got the shield looking. I don't think it looks bad by any means. Yeah, it's a little like blocky and rectangular, but I don't dare fuck with it. I think it looks fine. The rest of the materials, though... I mean, let's just, like, take a look. God damn it. Let's just take a look at them, like... Bruh. Pixels. 
So I'm going to let AI do all the heavy lifting here. No, not AI image generation. AI upscaling. Okay, very different. Still probably trained on stolen data. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea, but it's just a guess. Now wait just one patty flipping second. I just realized I already have all the textures. They're in here. They're right here. Look at that. That's everything. That's them all right there. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a folder called old. I'm going to drop all these in here. And then, yeah, I'm just going to upscale the ever-loving fuck out of all these. It should be pretty easy. It looks like everything is basically in, like, one main texture. And there's, like, the damage texture. And the shields I'm already fine with. Don't see any real need to upscale those. So, basically, these... I do have to split the normals up. But that's not really a huge deal. Demon, thanks for the two, man. Appreciate it. You could mark sharps. You're right. Why did I not... You're absolutely right. I should take these now that their sharps are marked and fix that. I don't. I literally was complaining about the shading, and then I was like, you know, the shading's not really that bad, to be honest. Uh, it literally is, though. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I was thinking when I said that. You're absolutely right. Do I manually mark the sharps or risk blowing the entire thing up? That's the real question here. Term. I kind of want to mark them manually because I'm feeling a little bit like not dealing with the chaos that would ensue if I tried. To... Oh, that would be so boring. It's pretty easy though. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. That's fucking lame. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this the right way. And by right way, I mean the lazy way, which is just going like that, finding every single one of these, and then renaming all the bones. The only thing that has B in it, because I'm only looking for B underscores actually, so let me double check every bone name. Ripper thruster, main eye. Yeah, okay, so what I can do is select every bone here. Do select every bone. Run control F2 on. Can I do bones in object mode? No, I can't. I gotta go to pose mode. No, edit mode? Trying to replace all bones. Find B underscore prefix. Replace it with nothing. Okay, so now their bone names should be good. And I'm going to save this. Hold on. Uh, Sentinel Enforcer, Sentinel Enforcer. Sentin Sentinel Enforcer shaded. Okay, and what I can do now is with the properly shaded Sentinel Enforcer is re-import this uh, into my new upgraded version that I spent a bunch of time on. Yeah. Select sharp edges and just go from there. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with it. I don't want to actually up I thought I wanted to upres the model, but in retrospect I was like, it's a sentinel. It's not it doesn't really need it to be honest. Um, the main issue that's gonna be kind of sad is I don't have any of the regions anymore, which it's totally fine. It's, it's actually totally fine. It's not fine. It's not at all fine. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm saying it's fine. It's totally not even not even close to fine. But what I can do. Oh, I just had a brain blast, dude. Hold up. Hold up. I can salvage the regions. I can actually salvage the regions. Hold up. This is. I need to do this actually. Let me go to the old Blender before I import this. Um. Uh, in the old blender, they're under face maps, and of course there's a ton of them. Why <laughs> Why wouldn't there be? What I'm going to do is I'm going to select every region, and I'm going to give it a new um, vertex group. I'm just going to copy the vertex groups into regions so that it's in a format that the data can like save over. And then I'll just re reassign them. Uh, once I, once, I don't know if that guy makes sense to you guys, but yeah, I'm going to basically just transfer, because the vertex groups are basically the same thing as face maps. They just do different things in how different sections read them. They just are literally uh, selections of vertices at the end of the day. So if I can save the selections of vertices in a different format, then, you know, that's good. Pretty good. 
I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. Which is really what's important at the end of the day, because I'm the one making it. I don't know if this is going to be slower or faster than manually if I had marked all the sharps myself, but... Why am I not using Blender for it? So I am, but the reason I'm switching back to this right now is because the new version of Blender and the new version of the Halo Toolkit, the import fix-ups, which will merge all the vertices together and calculate where sharps need to be marked, does not work. And that is a really, really critical, like super critical thing you need to be able to do to make edits to any of these models and get them back in the game. Because what happens is the Halo models, when you extract them, none of the vert, like the triangles are welded together. They're all totally separated, which one increases triangle count a shit ton for no reason. And two, it, or sorry, increases vertice count for no reason. And two, uh, it makes it really hard to edit anything because all the shading data for where stuff is shaded like flat, like on this edge here, all of that is baked in. So what import fix up does is it kind of estimates and calculates, joins everything together, takes your vertex count way down so you can get more stuff in game. And it also basically just brings everything into an editable format while keeping the correct shading, which is so important. But in Blender 4 with the new version of the Halo Toolkit, I should probably tell General that it's not working. But yeah, just it doesn't work. I keep forgetting to tell General that it's broken. So I, I basically have to go back here. And the issue and why this is so obnoxious for me right now um, is because they change the format of regions between the versions. And I have to, <laughs> because of a, like a Blender 4 got rid of face maps, which were, it's, it's like a whole thing. I, I don't know, it, long and short, shit's busted. And uh, I really don't want to pester General too much, to be honest, because he's a busy guy and he's done all of this stuff for free. And, you know, I got mad respect for that. And I don't want to be like, erm, general. Like, I've already pestered him enough in the past, you know. But I, I probably should at least let him know about this. Because this is kind of a big deal for Halo modders. Like, yes, I have found a solution and a workaround to, to still be able to use it. But, like, it would be nice if it just worked in the new version so I could just do stuff. But I do feel bad. I've, I've pestered him a lot in the past. Alright, there we go. Destroyed one is assigned. Good. Yeah, basically I'm just redoing the data, if that makes sense, for uh, for all this. Yeah, that's really not a sharp. There's no way that's not a sharp. If it says it's not a sharp, I'll trust it this time, but only this time. Anyway, we got one more set of these to do, and then I can uh, get these all set up in Gucci. And then I just have to do this exact same process, but in reverse uh, in the new Blender. And that's how I'm going to get around the fact that regions changed and they do not transfer. And the thing is, too, uh, in the new version of the Blender Toolkit, it's really good that they have their own data type for Halo regions and they're not just using face maps. Because, I don't, I don't know, face maps were barely used as it was. I, guess, I didn't know they were used as infrequently as they were to the point where Blender was going to remove them from subsequent versions. But I, I'd only ever use them for Halo stuff. I didn't know what their actual use was, to be honest, but... There we go. Should be good. Okay, everything should be fine there. Cool, cool. What F are you doing? I just get out of this live for eat. I'm gonna be honest, Luke, I have no clue what the fuck you just said, but good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Alright, that is saved. I will now append it to my new project. Uh, wherever that is. Oh, here. It is here. I'll grab these three. Append. Apparently they're not the same armature somewhere, somehow. I don't know. Fuck it. Whatever. We will clear the parent. And yet we will keep its transform. Then we will take them here. Wait.
Where's the destroyed variant of this? I'm so confused. Is there just like not one? Is this an old version? Hold on. That's Halo 3 render. What the fuck? Huh? Maybe it's under Sentinel Enforcer garbage? I am confused, lost, and afraid. What the fuck is going on? Is it possible that I was lazy with the Sentinel Enforcer and never did damage states? Especially back then when damage states were like my worst enemy and I was terrified? Let's find out. Let's find out. Also, this is totally a sellout moment, but uh, uh, if you guys want to support uh, the me as a modder to allow me to keep doing this, the tip jar in description, uh, the YouTube does not take 30% like with Super Chats. It just it goes to me. That is all. Sellout moment over. All right, let's see. Let's go characters. Uh, where are you? There you are. Sentinel Enforcer. All right, let's see. Was I bad? Oh, I was, dude. Oh, it only had the base model. I didn't even put in the other damage states for it. What kind of modder am I? Was I? Because I did... Actually, I know exactly the kind of modder I was years ago when I first made the Enforcer, ported the Enforcer. A lazy one who was afraid of change. Which means this is actually all correct. Pretty cool. Let's uh, attach this to the armature. Ooh, wait, let's let's fix this with Foundry. Watch this. Wait, save and then use the Foundry's awesome tool of remove duplicate materials. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. So good. You mean to tell me that this guy is live and in HD? You're right. It's me. In high definition. 8K. This Kabuli interior frigate will be as a scenery object. Um, no plans yet, but I would like to, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay, wait. So it ends at vent F. Vent? Like the uh, imposter? Okay, let's see. This looks good. Everything seems to be the same. There's just a scroll bar. That's the only difference. Okay. All is fucking good. Hell yeah. So I can just straight up delete that. Theoretically, this will just work. But every time I say that, it absolutely doesn't work. At all. Actually, before I delete that again, let me... Oh, it, didn't, it just doesn't have any Halo regions. That's, yeah, no, that's fine. Well, I guess I have the regions here. Hull, L-Arm, L-Rocket, L-Shield. Okay, so we, just, we, got, we got all the stuff here. That's fine. That's fine. But now I get to do the fun part, you guys. Unloading all the data I saved into the Vertex groups. Yay! We go to Halo regions in the new version. And we start just spam assigning this stuff. Wow. Now, if this isn't riveting content, I don't know what is. See, RJ stream, I push the like button. Based, thank you, Tex. Guys, it's clear to me that Tex is going to be successful in life. That they're probably going to be a millionaire. Maybe even a billionaire. Possibly the world's first official trillionaire. Because they did something with thought, foresight, maybe foreskin. Not really sure on that one yet. But they hit the like button. And that's incredible. Imagine being able to do something like that. That's so cool. Imagine hitting the like button. Unbelievable. What am I doing? Currently, I am fully upgrading the Sentinel Enforcer that I made like ages ago. And I am giving it full damage states and proper shading and stuff that I was too newbie to add back when I very, very first did this. Because this is one of the first things I installed in the... Or that I ported into Halo 3 like ages and ages ago. 
Let's double check this stuff. It's looking good. So that's left shield generator. Right, yeah, everything looks good. I may have missed something, but I think I'm good. I'm gonna delete all the vertex groups, if you will. All right, so we'll hide that. Now we're gonna move on to the destroyed version, which should be marginally easier. I have a plugin that auto likes all my YouTube subscriptions. Nice, wait, that's sick. Although, what was that weasel? You're so sweet. You're so sweet. What was I talking about? I don't remember. This is too mind numbing. That's not the right name. But anyway, this shouldn't take longer than a couple more minutes, and then we'll actually be able to see it in game, which will be really satisfying. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I was really surprised, like, it's been a while since I've been afraid to do damage states, because it's really not that big of a deal. But yeah, I guess this was back in my dark era. This is drivable? Uh, technically, yeah. I mean, it's kind of weird that it's drivable, because it's, like, supposed to be a robotic AI, but yeah, no, it is drivable. Okay, there we go. Looking cool. Weasel, why are you looking at yourself? Why don't you just come sit in my lap and be cute? I know you want to anyway. Come here. Come here. Yeah, just come over here. Rock and stone. While there's time, you can either rattle off some of the trepanation features or just paste a screenshot of them because it's like, oh, true. Wait, hold on. That is true, but also if I, let me just get through medium Medium damage stage, which will take me like one more minute, and then yes, absolutely, you're right. Wait, that's not it. Because if I don't do this, like, I don't know, I feel like my brain's going to explode and I'm going to die. My body's going to turn into a fine red mist. I just have to, I have to complete this. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Ooh, that sounded weirdly sexual now that I, like, played that back in my head. Da Wingo 53, thank you for the fiver. Much appreciated, dude. Thank you so much for the support. Is the Godzilla mod up on the Steam Workshop by chance? If so, how do I open Ultimate? Wait, how do I open Ultimate Forge in game? Can't figure it out. So Ultimate Forge isn't working right now. The current version is really, really old and no longer supported. Um, you know, theoretically, theoretically, couldn't I just like lie and say that it's updated and then it would just like go up and work oh shit no i can't undo that bitch couldn't i just like i have the old ultimate forge on there couldn't i just like upgrade the version and then just like people can just fuck around with it how come i never did that am i just like dumb what is wrong with me that would take like two seconds or is it just like properly broken i don't even remember to be honest <laughs> no I failed to save the left arm data. This is so sad. I have to do it manually. Ew. I'm almost there. Wait, two more vertex, vert, vertex groups? Two more? One more. Done! The whole thing, all damage states. Ladies and gentlemen, it's up. Also, do we go to answer the rest of your question because I got caught up on what I was doing. Uh, the Godzilla mod is not up on the workshop, but I would like to put it up on the workshop. I likely won't have my reach one up for a while. What's going on with its tail? Oh, right, I was trying to get it to animate, but I wasn't having much luck with it. Uh, but this one might... Might cook up something off stream one of these days just for fun. Oh, right, I totally forgot to show this. The footsteps like shake like crazy now. It is very scary.
Also, he floats off the ground. I really don't want to fix that, but I'm definitely going to have to. His tail will animate better soon. Right now, it's just kind of twitching, which is a little weird looking. But he looks a lot better with a tail that's not straight out. One of these days, one day, I will get his atomic breath looking perfect. Nor! Thank you for the first tip of the stream. Much appreciated. Thank you for that, too. Much, much appreciated. I couldn't even edge to this. I exploded immediately. Clean up aisle on my pants. Now, what can I say? This is some charged content. Highly charged content. Can't blame you at all. That is the natural reaction to have to what you're witnessing right here. Wow, look at that sound effect, the sound design. Wowza. That's some good shit. Hey, Roz, what up, Lucifer? Good to see you. Good to see it. You go up Godzilla's behind to drive it? Yeah, you gotta slip in there like Ant-Man when he blew up Thanos from the inside out. It's pretty sick, actually. How do you even kill it? Back rounds? Well, Godzilla regenerates, so... Killing. Strong word there. Not really sure that killing is the right word. Maybe more like... Stopping from moving temporarily? Um, I don't know. Something like that. 400 atom bombs? That might work. Macron would just poke a really big hole in him and he'd be like, ooh, 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 ooh. Atomic bombs make him stronger? That is true. I don't want to spoil it, but I'll just say, before the atomic bomb, Godzilla Minus One did not look like this. Go watch the movie. You'll know what I'm talking about. We're gonna have an oxygen destroyer? True. They, they like... No, I'm not gonna say anything. New movie's good, though. I'll say that. It's very good. He was a dino boy. Shit, 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 don't tell them. Don't spoil it. The we go with the five! Thank you very much for another five. I appreciate it. Make a whole campaign mission and killing Godzilla would also be fun to do. I actually do. I know that everyone's gonna hate on me. And they're gonna be like rejected you never work on what you're gonna say you're working on oh, i'm disappointed in you son but i really do want to do like a halo 3 godzilla minus one type battle thing in multiplayer i think it'd be really really fun we're like it's infection with like zero lives so everybody just dies if they don't kill godzilla kind of like fat kid if you ever played that back in custom games uh but it's godzilla in an entire destructible city a lot simpler than the, like, a lot simpler and easier to accomplish than um, the Reach one. But I don't know. I don't have any plans to work on that in a major way anytime soon because I have so many other projects. And I don't, as much as I wish I could at this point just work on what I want to work on, everyone is, like, constantly directly shitting down my throat. And they're like, God, this rejected guy. Urgh, I hate him. He, he keeps saying he's going to do something and then he doesn't because he just wants to have fun. I hate it when rejected has fun and pursues projects that he's passionate about in the moment. Arr, he needs to do what I want him to do. I need to upscale these textures immediately. What's the uh, I am was it IMG upscaler? Dude, how come every AI image upscaler just shows pictures of like sexy anime women as their logos? Do you want to upscale your sexy anime waifu? Come to our website. Like, no, I'm just trying to upscale Halo textures. Actually, please. Um, but thank you, I think. Honestly, a Halo Kaiju mod where it has all the Godzillas and Godzilla big guys, that would go hard. I saw a recent uh, mod for the Wii Godzilla game that added like a bunch of new Godzillas to it, which looked really cool. Upscalers do that to get the neuron activation, so more clicks. Yeah, I mean, I figure, but like, still, still, come the frick on, dude. Freaking come the frick on, dude. Sexy woman, I wonder how big her boobies are. 
Do she got them gazankas? Hmm. I sure hope she's got big gazankas. We'll have to investigate to find out. It rejected. Your space battle mod in reach. We need that. Yeah, you release that. I literally, were you there, Luke, when I was talking about that earlier? That's what I'm working on after Ultimate Forge. This is what I'm talking about. Everybody's like, rejected. Work on this. And then everybody's like, no, rejected. Work on this instead. No, rejected. I need you to work on this. It's like, I'm not going to lie. Every time you guys are like telling me to do something, it makes me just like not want to do it. I just don't like being told what to do. It's like, it's like, isn't this my stream? Aren't I, aren't I, aren't I supposed to be doing what I want to do? Like, why am I just listening to everyone else? I'm too nice. Wait, you two become a Mongolian nomad? I just start doing throat singing. That would go kind of hard. All right, here's the specular map, here's the diffuse map, and here's the red, green, and blue channels for the normal map, which I think the blue channel I made myself just by lightening up the green channel. Yeah, whatever. Close enough. Projected, please clean up the mess on aisle 8. Fine! Jesus! Fine! Okay, I'm just going to save all of these real quick. It's really boring. Don't worry. It's it's happening off screen and you're not missing anything. But Godzilla do be looking kind of nice today. I think we can all agree. Bro's looking pretty pretty fresh. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. All right, I've almost finished exporting them all in the background. Give me like one more second. Okay, done. Why are his toes bigger than his head? Uh, they knew their audience. Kills you specular, start, diffuse, start, red part of the bump map, start, green card part of the bump map, start. I really need to download like an offline upscaler. Like I used to use Waifu 2X because it was like the only upscaler that existed for so long. But uh, yeah, this is this alright. You were stretching, wake up and your calf locks up and agonizing for the rest of the day. It usually is only agonizing for like a couple minutes and then it goes back to being normal. Sounds like you might be dehydrated. You should drink more water. Can you make a drivable scarab tutorial? That is like the easiest tutorial of all time, Luke. I'm not joking. It's so easy to make a drivable scarab. It's not even funny. You know what? I will show you. I will show you how to do this, okay? This is not going to be like the perfect way, but it will allow you to drive it. Yo, Dwingo with a five! Thank you so much for the continued support. That's so kind of you. Last Ono I can afford. Did you know Minus One is getting a sequel? You're now my new favorite modder. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. I did hear that they wanted, um, the director wanted to do a sequel. I... I don't know, it might be a rumor that it's greenlit, but I did hear that something like that is happening, and I think they want to have him, like, fight a monster as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I did hear that, though. It's really exciting. I hope it's good, because if it's not, it's going to be really hard to top Minus One. Minus One was a really good film. I'm really glad it's getting more to it. I don't know what it's going to be like, but Minus One was so good that I just, I don't know what they could possibly do. It's a top minus one. It was just phenomenal. Really, really phenomenal. All right. Oh, wait, Skabuli, I want to read out your list of stuff real quick. 
Angiris. I would love, dude. Uh, what was the last time we saw Angiris? That was like 1960 something, 70 something. In, uh, in Destroy All Monsters. Nor, thanks for another $2 tip. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. If I ever actually focus on learning the mod tools, I'm going to make a mod where it's just Godzilla shitting out atomic bombs. Awesome. You should do that. But then you should also make him just shit regularly. Just big doo doo. RJ's yapping is off the charts right now. What are you talking about? I'm always yapping. I just don't stop. The fact that you think I ever stopped is crazy. The only time I'm not yapping is like when I'm sick or really tired. That's it. Ooh, wait, these textures look pretty good. Hold on, you guys gotta see this. Wait, let me let me get these all into an organized Photoshop document. Ooh, these look good. These look really good. Guys, look at that. Look at that crisp AI upscaled shit right there. Like damn. Hold on, this is this is the specular. Ooh, that's crisp. That's the good shit right there. Yeah, I like that. This is fucking good. Look what that is. From blurry to just fucking not. I don't know. If you're like full screen right now, you can probably appreciate how much nicer that is. Boom. 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 That's crispy. That shit's crispy right there. I'd eat off it. But the walking animations on the Scarab? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, Luke, that's a lot more advanced. Making a custom walking animation for a Scarab, if you have no experience with Blender or the mod tools, um, it's a little bit tricky to explain because you, you need to just like know how to animate and Blender and you need to like know some quirks about how giant tags work. There's a little bit to it. Just a wee bit. Alright, diffuse texture complete. Now... Red channel. Red. Red channel. What the fuck is going on? Control A, Control C, all data copied. Channels. Red, paste. There we go. Okay. Green channel. Good. Blue channel. Good. That's probably fine. Who cares? Delete these. Now the bump map is done. I really hate how that looks, but that's how I did it before, and you know, it worked out pretty well, so I can't really complain. No, it actually, I think that's correct. Yeah. Huh, maybe that was the real blue channel the whole time. Well, hopefully it works right. Cool. There's our cursed bump map. And here's our proper diffuse map. RJ, what amount of dono money would you oil up for? Well, to, I hate that I can say this, but my roommate actually has oil. Would I oil myself up on stream? No. I don't think I ever would. What amount would you do it for? A lot. Definitely like a fucking grand or above, because that shit is embarrassing. I, I, I don't know. No, I'll be more than that. That's fucking horrifying. I don't know if I could ever live that down. That'd be the most embarrassing shit of my life. He'll be like, wow, rejected such a fucking disgusting sellout. He just oiled up on stream because somebody asked him to. <laughs> what a whore. Nah, I'd do it. 
<laughs> okay, so 2.5k? Yeah, I can settle for 2.5k. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, what was like? Oh yeah, enforcer textures. Donating two point five k Ugandan shillings ASAP. Uh, I appreciate it. I meant dollars, but you know, I get it. Not on this economy. Okay, I've done it. All is right. It's saved. We have them. They're here. Look at that. They're all packaged up. That took way longer than I wished it would have, but it's good. Technically need to do the torn up textures too, but you know what? Fuck it. Later. Later. Okay, why? Why does this... Why does this look blue? But the other one does not. What did I mess up here? The blue is supposed to be like white. I don't think I did that right. That is what it's supposed to look like. I definitely did not extract the blue. Okay, hold on. I got to redo this. One second. I think that's why this is so cursed. I did not do this right at all. Let me, let me save that. Let's do another upscale real quick. Yeah, that one did not come out correctly. I was wondering why the bump map was cursed. I was just... Oh wait, I just joined hoping to see the cut sentinel and got the urge to activate the oxygen destroyer. Good, good. Wait, not good. Let the big, let the big G live. Let him live. Okay, there we go. This is the correct blue bump. There we go. Much better. Much better. Now we have a proper bump map. Sick. All right, I'm going to save it. We're gonna get it. Let's fucking get it, dude. All right. Paste these in here. Now we've got those high res textures, 200% increase, up to Halo 3's actual proper amounts. You can close all this stuff now. No longer need it. Fuck it. Now let's let's uh, let's take a look. We also have to upgrade the model as well. I forgot to extract it, but even still, this should go pretty hard. Here's our here's our dude. Watching. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tab into the game on stream so you can see, and I'm gonna run the command to up-res the textures. And we're gonna watch in real time as they up update. But obviously, still the model shading isn't perfect, but it'll look pretty similar anyway. So you know, fuck it. All right, tool bitmaps, objects, characters, slash, sentinel, enforcer, slash, bitmaps. Are you ready? Hopefully this actually makes a substantial change. All right, here goes nothing. Did that do anything? I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even see anything change. I don't think it actually did change anything. Did anyone see anything? I wasn't. I don't know, I feel like I wasn't paying attention. It looks, looks kind of the same. Is that upscaled? I think that's upscaled. That doesn't look any different, to be real. Pretty sure that's the same texture. Hold on, let me. See. Oh, you know what? It probably like did not work. Hold on, let me run that again. Wrong data type. Oh, I think it like actually just could not import them. 
It failed to import them. No! Bam back what I missed. Well, we were about to get the beauty and grace of uh, of these things actually working, but it did not work that time, unfortunately. This is so sad. Uh, it said wrong data type for rich. Okay. So here's what I'll do in order to make this work. I am going to drag and drop the old textures into here. Those are the new ones. These are the old ones. Here's the old ones. The image size of the new one is 1024, which means this one should be 512. But this has the right properties in it, so I'm literally just going to grab this. Image, image size, double it. Paste the new one in. Oh yeah, that's a lot crispier. Wait. It is, but it also lost certain bits. Like the spheres kind of go... Go like that. Some stuff is better, some stuff is worse, to be honest. But it should help. It'll reduce a lot of that pixelation. I hope. Um, then we have this. Which goes into here. Oh, 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 oh. Do apply layer mask. Paste it into here. Image. Oh, wait. Don't paste it in yet. Image. Image size. Double it. Boom. Delete the old one. Now it should be good. I'm going to export these again, but this time it should actually work. What? Okay, let's uh, try that again. I'm going to close Photoshop because I don't think I need it anymore. All right. We're going to get a little get a little crazy here. Should be in the right format. I'm going to double check real quick before we get the, the beautiful, beautiful thing. Yo, Nor! Thanks for the two, dude. Appreciate. I clutched up and got a job yesterday. Yo, congrats. Let's go. Congrats. I hope it's like a, a pretty decent one that you're happy with and pays well. That's sick. Well, I'm the only one who's tallying their shits for the year. I'm on 28 for this month alone. That's a lot of shits. I feel like I shit usually once a day. Very rarely twice. Not like that rare, but like it's pretty rare actually. Like a once a day pooper. Cool streamer things to talk about. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. It's true. All right. You know, society hates truth tellers. All right. It's just it's just how it is. They can't handle the truth. Rock guy is poop guy now. I am known for my poop limo. Wait, did we get the base map in or is it still 512? No, it's still 512. Okay. Does that mean the bump is set to Z bump? Bruh. Bump map from height? What about Z brush bump map? Okay, stare at this, save this, re import. Okay, keep staring. Re import. Wait, don't, don't stare. Stop staring. You're making it weird. If 
Okay. Keep staring. I think it's working this time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! That's so much cleaner! Holy shit! Ooh! Damn! That is so much better than I expected. Oh, the illumination definitely broke there. I'm not sure why. Now that's a, that. I know it's just lazy AI upscaling, but dude, I'm gonna be real. That feels like Halo Three. That. That's it. Now I gotta figure out why the illumination's not working. I don't know. I actually, know what's up with that. I actually, I don't know. I don't fucking, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, we just gotta poke into it really quickly. Sentinel Enforcer Hover. What the fuck is going on? I guess I can just duplicate this to Sentinel Enforcer Illume. Rerun the bitmaps command and then just set it as an Illume bitmap. Did that fix it? That did not fix it. God damn it! Oh wait, maybe it's because it died. Is that is it because it died? No, I just accidentally killed all the illumination. That looks so much cleaner though. God damn, that's so much cleaner. It's actually crazy. Oh, wait. Let's do another screenshot of it and then we can do a back and forth. Hold on. Okay, wait, these two, wait, delete that one, go back and forth between these two. Crisp. Look at this. Old, new. Look how crunchy it was. Look at those pixels there. Bam, dude. AI upscaling goes crazy. It actually changed so much. Damn. You guys shit in school. I mean, I used to if I really had to. I, I would try to hold it because the school bathrooms were gross to me, but... I mean, sometimes. Shit's not working. It's not fucking working. Maybe I should use the old texture for it. I think I'm going to do that, because at least the old texture worked. I'll probably make it work, but I feel like the, the new one, the upscaling of the AI, kind of kind of messed it up. Oh, it still didn't fix it. What the fuck? What's going on here? Dropping a six megaton dump after holding it for four hours. Yeah, that's uh, one of the sentences ever. Oh, I actually deleted the old one. No! Didn't mean to do that. I still needed it. God damn it. Wait, I still have it. It's in my original Sentinel Enforcer folder. Probably. Please be here. Oh god, please be here. I don't want to go all the way back and extract it again. That sounds really boring. 
Let's go! Nice. That's pretty blurry, but, you know, fuck it. At least it works. I actually have no clue why the new one didn't work, but I'm not going to question it. If it works, it works. Alright, the eye is shader and main eye. Does this have an illume? It does. We'll put that in there. Uh, Sentinel shield. I don't think I need to do anything there. Sentinel damage. Is this a Halo 3 one? Oh yeah, it's the Sentinel Aggressor one. That's fine. Yeah, should be good now. We're back. Sentinel Enforcer. Oh man, those Illumination maps are really fucking blurry though. Why? Why? Actually, just why? Hold on, let me take a look at this really quickly. Because you guys see how blurry it is in Pixelated. Like, I want the Illumination map to also be nice, but... Something that I did in the upscale really messed it up. I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to find a fix for the Halo 2 Delta Approach multiplayer. You can use single player structure uh, BSP and light map files and it loads. Oh, sick. Yeah, that figures. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I guess it's better than like fully extracting it. Probably just had a bunch of errors uh, in the BSP. Geronimo, thanks for the two. Thank you, thank you. He said, hey there, modern boy. It's modern man to you. I'll have you know. I'm a man. Good to see you though. Hope you're doing well. Still some trees look burnt. That's weird. Very odd. Not surprised, but still odd. This is so strange. There should be no difference between these textures other than the resolution. Like if I, uh, let's do layer mask from transparency and hide it. We'll disable it. Then we'll do same thing, layer mask from transparency and hide it. Like, they are the same, more or less. And then, if we just look at the illumination, or not uh, the specular mask, once again, that definitely should just be working. Like, for sure, that should just work. Why is there a change color map on this? Stop having a change color map. That just disables it. What the fuck? Why? Like I can... Well, look at this. I need to see this for testing actually. Stare at that and then we'll, I'll put the new one on. the same shit and I turn to the new one and it disappears what what is happening they're the same besides the fact that I manually set this to a self illume map which it didn't even need to be in the first place because it wasn't It's the same shit. What's going on? Oh, what's going on? Did you import it as a loom? I did, but it wasn't even an illum before. Which is so weird. If I set this to self illum, just to, as like a temporary test, it still ain't doing shit. That's so weird. Yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to call it the end of the world just because the glowing bits are a little blurry. As long as it actually just genuinely looks that much better, I love it. I actually love it. And good news. It's time for some big stuff. Wait. Me and GF are going to get ice cream. Don't burn the house town. Do I want anything? Mm. I want some mint chocolate chip. I want some delicious, good mint chocolate chip. 
That's that's all I want. <laughs> Oil. <laughs> Gross? What do you mean gross? Mint chocolate chip rules. Mint ice cream is trash? That is a trash opinion. What do you... What? What? Can't believe what I'm hearing right now. This is shocking. I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry, bro. No, for me, I hate mint. Well, it doesn't even taste all that minty, to be honest. I just, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can recover from this. Jesus, you guys are scaring me. I'm frightened. You're frightening me. Stop frightening me. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. This is really only the mark. Okay. I think we need to open up Halo 2 and spawn in a Sentinel Enforcer because I find it a little hard to believe that the only sharps marked are on the inside of these things as in right here. I'm finding that a little hard to believe. I'm opening up Halo 2. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I'm going to have to see it for myself. We're gonna open up my Halo 2 map Mombasa battle. I'm gonna spawn one of these in. I don't know how I feel about this. I think I think the import fix up just didn't know what it was talking about. And I think I need to take charge and use my two eyes, my big eyeballs. They are pretty big. They don't look big somewhere in glasses, but they're huge. I'm basically an anime character. I'm Omega Sugoi, trust me. TBH. I know what I'm talking about. Alright. Now that we have downtime, I want to read some of this stuff. This, guys, this is what Skaboodly has planned right now. I'm just going to read a couple of these because the list is really long. Skaboodly wants in reach the light machine gun, flamethrowers, a cryo thrower, and God bless, a stanchion. He wants stanchions. <laughs> he wants stanchions. Cryo grenades as well. He wants a UNSC riot shield, which is fucking dope. He wants a custom equipment. Like radio packs to command troops. He wants drop shields, parachutes, which, yes, that, the concept. I don't know if you guys remember me talking on Huge Grass a while ago with Skaboodly about his parachute concept. Really good idea. Um, deployable machine guns. All this is totally possible, by the way. Skaboodly, thanks for the two. Read my last comment. Oh, I missed it. I told you GF wanted mint choco chip, and she was like, my man, yeah. That's what I'm fucking talking about. At least y'all get it, okay? Chat doesn't get mint chocolate chip, you know. That's fine. They don't get it. They don't know what it's like to have good opinions, but you know, not everybody does. It's totally, it's totally fine. Can't blame people for having bad opinions. You know, they're just out there. I don't have time to correct everybody who has a wrong opinion. All right, Halo 2, tell me what's going on here. Any sharps? Okay, so it's looking like the outside actually has no sharps. There are some sharps marked there, though. The inside. Aha. I think... I think that's a sharp right there that got missed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just as I suspected. Good try, Halo 2. I'm on to you. Oh, what's that? The entire interior has its sharps marked as well. Hmm. Let me just uh, double check. Oh, what's that? Only some of those were marked. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to freaking fly. I'm going to freaking fly. Oh, there is a shocking amount of sharps that are not actually here. There's like very few on this entire thing. Why is it so dirty in Halo 2, dude? It's nasty and grungy. Ew. Like, here's the Halo 2 one. Why does it look better in Halo 2 than it does in Halo 3 with the same textures? 
Halo 2 is like texture filtering or something. It's just way cleaner than Halo 3's was. Something about the shading and the bump maps, I think. Does it have light volumes? Does mine have light volumes? Wow, it totally doesn't. It's also missing a shit ton of lights. And lens flares. What are these? I don't even have these needle lights. Dude, what am I doing? I'm fucking up. This thing is... Oh, no, wait, I do have the lights. I was just too close. Okay, I lied. I do have the lights, but I don't have the little volumes. Which would be kind of cool to have, to be honest. Apparently the needles, the needle lights don't exist. I swear they do, though. Hmm. But I do need these up top. The needle are the rocket launchers. You really never see them, but... Have it pick up a banshee and then it flies. This, By the way, my fun fact, I did actually get the functionality for this thing to pick up vehicles and stuff. Like, it should be able to pick me up if I... If it survives. It could theoretically pick me up in the Goss Goose. Let's see if it does it. Oh god, it's trying to shoot rockets instead. That's scary. Ah, that's, I'm dead. I'm so dead. The Guardian's away. Oh, it's trying to pick me up. It's trying to pick me up. Will it, though? It did. It picked me up. It wasn't flying high enough by default to, like, do it effectively, but it did pick me up. Yo, Alexander with the fiver. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you said, Mythic Jacket tried adding new grenade types in RMO, but couldn't get them to work with players. Only AI. Ah. The fact that they even got it to work with AI is pretty cool, though. So we put spike and flame grenades on brutes. That's dope. That's actually dope. The fact that it worked at all is, like, pretty cool to me. It's like, that's not something the engine supports at all, as far as I know, so... Even getting that working that way is kind of crazy. Okay, I want to see if I can get picked up again in this thing. Pick me up. Pick me up. I swear I got it working where it would like suck you up. I think I'm just too, it's too high up in the air right now. Oh look, it's trying to pull me up. It's just not strong enough. Watch. Oh. Look at that. It went yoink. What if I just make it stronger? I could give it just more suck power. Let me try that. Let's give it some more suck. Oh, I opened Halo 3 tag test. Ah, stop it. So, how much suck does it have in Halo 2? Because these values may not be exact. They should be, but they're probably not. It has 100 center acceleration and 5 center max. Alright, let's check it out in Halo 3. Did I put that? I sure did. I actually put 50 center max. With, wait, did it have alignment properties? Oh, it did. It had those too. Maybe center max at 50 was a problem? Oh, it died. Oopsies. Okay, let's delete all of our, our AI here. It's getting a little complicated. We'll just put down one Sentinel Enforcer. Oh! I put him in the ground. Okay, Mr. Enforcer. Do your worst. Oh, I left Spartans and Marines. Now they're all fighting. Mostly dying, but still technically fighting. Oh my god. I can't shoot for shit! Got him. Almost got him. Got him. Alright, now turn your attention to me. Look, I'm below you. Activate. Suck. The chances of it doing this are really low. That was so far off, my dude. It pulled me up. I think I just need to, like, increase the center acceleration 
by 10. I think I need to increase... I think I need to increase both by 10. I think it's the only solution here. Commit suck. Why does it just make... Okay, well that still works, but it only makes me like a fly up in the air for like two seconds. I have to like quadruple, triple omega these numbers and it still doesn't do anything. I tried this so many times and it really didn't do much any time. Let's see if it works. Suck. Activate suck. Okay, well if you could if you could, you know, maybe do that before. I think it's just a Halo 3 thing where it's just kinda like a little bit bugged, it doesn't work. Oh whoa, fuck, 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 it's shooting rockets at me. Chill. I'm trying to test this. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to leave it at defaults. I remember now. It just uh decides it doesn't want to work, you know? Everything is the same as it was in Halo 2. I just think the function in Halo 3 doesn't work the, quite the same way. I tried using another vehicle. It seems to have the same effect on all vehicles. But hey, shout out to these new textures. I can't get over how much better it looks. It's actually wild to me. Okay, but before I start gushing about the new textures, I want to get the new upgraded model with all the damage states in because that's just spicy. This shit's real spicy. Okay, let me do that real quick. Export JMS, Halo 3, subdirectories. Actually, I'm gonna save this. Give me give me one second. Let me do some file shenanigans in the background. Okay. Oh, it only exported a render model. Oh! Oh! Where the fuck is the physics model? Wait. Could it be? Could it be, perhaps? Just maybe. Maybe! I directly imported the Halo 2 physics model and collision model? No, I didn't. Well, that's annoying. Also, I imported the medium and destroyed in base and everything. I just never set them up. What the fuck is wrong with me? Why? Dude, I, I made this October 22nd, 2021. It is now March 2024. This is like two and a half years old. This this thing I'm doing right now. That I'm redoing, I should say. It's kind of wild. Oh, 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 oh. Whatever. I could just re-import all this stuff in like two seconds. Here goes nothing. Give me one sec. Let's re-import this. I'm good enough at this where it's not a big deal anymore. What? It's physics is known as cheesy physics? What the fuck does that mean? Huh? Does this thing like not have a physics model? I'm so confused. What the fuck is going on, man? I don't get it. <sighs> this is what the physics model looks like. But cheesy physics seems to only be for the destroyed part. Does that mean this thing never had, like, full physics? Like, you could just walk through, like, the legs of it? I'm confused. Because, you see, if I import physics model, you have cheesy destroyed physics. Oh, maybe... That's destroyed. Wait, maybe I need to do cheese. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's got the UFO suck. It's back. We're good. False alarm. Everything's fine. Probably. I don't know. Anyway, let me get the uh, the collision as well. Got regular collision. 
We got medium collision. And we got destroyed collision. Nice. Very cool. Uh, the only other thing I need to do to fix this, we go to armature, we go to edit mode, we select all bones, we control F2, find B underscore as bones, and we replace B underscore. Nice, not bad, not bad. Pretty freaking, uh, pretty freaking good, dude. Okay, can't really complain there. Uh, next. Can I just import these from Halo 2? It's the same shit all across the board. No, I can't because they use different bones. That's right, that's right. Oh, and they don't have face. Oh, no, they have Halo regions. They import, right. That's right. Yeah, sick. Okay. This should actually just work. So if I just... Wait. Wait. What are they attached to? What are your relations? All are parented to bone hole, except for the collision, which is... Okay. Okay, I got this. Clear parent, keep transform. Delete the original armature. Scroll up. Grab all the physics. Go to armature, pose mode. Uh, click the whole bone, parent to that bone, then take the collisions, select them, select the armature, go to pose mode. No, don't go to pose mode, just parent it to the object. And then... Should be good! I think, in all of my years of modding, everything I did just checks out. Problem with that, uh, usually when something checks out, it's <laughs> still not gonna work. So, you know, there's that. I'm just gonna rename the old stuff, just in case. And I'm gonna re-import everything, and I'm scared, and I'm scared, and I'm really scared. We'll do tool, render, objects, characters, sentinel, enforcer, final. Yeah, does it have a shield? I'm not thinking about it. I don't think I saw a shield on it. Where the hell is its shield? It doesn't have a shield anywhere. I imported it, but there's no shield. Is it a separate object? Where did its shield go? Okay. It's still here. It's got sharps marked. It didn't die. It didn't break. Also, I'm definitely going to upscale the shield. Now that I'm looking at it, it is it is pretty blurry. It's it's pretty ugly. I'm not a not an appreciator anymore. Pretty mid TBH. And, uh, that's not it. We can do better. We can do better than that. I, do I even dare, like, get the collision and physics model in? Like, they're still both fine, and it has, like, all the old ones in there. Ah, it's fine. But the cool part about this, the neat, the neat thing, is that now I can do damage states and make it get crunchy. And you guys have been telling me nonstop, you're like, rejected, please. This needs to be a crunchy enforcer. I really want it crunchy. And I hear you. I hear you. Oh wait, it already has all these states. What? Medium destroyed. Whole base major. Whole base medium and destroyed. But I, I already did it all. When the fuck did I do that? I mean, it doesn't have any cool effects, but like... I mean, it's there. 
It definitely looks better. The shading's a lot nicer. Well, the Sentinel Enforcer is heavily, heavily improved. I'm a fan. Big, large, huge work. Let's do a little before and after now that I've I've spent all the time doing this. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is a pretty big difference. Hold on, though. Let me get it. Let me get the exact angle if I can. I think that's pretty close. I want to say I got it pretty close. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Real talk. I feel like this was worth it. This is what it looked like before when we very first started today. Okay. And this is where it's at now. Old, new. Old, new. I just feel like that's so much cleaner. Like, ridiculously cleaner. It was so bad. It was one of the first things I ported from Halo 2. And I can't shake the feeling that this just is a major visual upgrade for it. Like, it's kind of subtle. But if you look, it just it feels Halo 3 now, right? It's at the same texture resolution as other Halo 3 stuff. The shading is much further improved. I don't know, it just feels clean and, and natural. Like, especially when you look at, like, this. Look at this edge right here in Halo, in the original one, and then new. That's a pretty major upgrade to my eyes. That's pretty satisfying, I gotta admit. Like even these lines right here, you could barely make them out. And now they're like this nice little detailed bit. Also, it got rid of a lot of the browns, which I am actually happy with. Halo 2 had a lot of browns. Now they read as more gray, which feels more Halo 3-esque to me. The Sentinels in Halo 3 were much cleaner with like the arc and everything. Obviously in Quarantine Zone, it was like an abandoned old facility on, on Delta Halo. But here, this is Halo 3 and everything's on the arc, so it was pretty good. Is it a coincidence that foreigner weaponry in Halo 2 looks like, kind of like human weaponry? You guys tell me. You guys tell me. I don't know. It'll be a mystery forever. I'm pretty happy with this though. I think uh, I think it's good. This this chapter of of today's stream is good. So let's move on. Let's do something else. We got, oh, I wanted to upgrade the multiplayer scarab for Halo 2, uh, the Halo 2 multiplayer scarab for this mod. I think I talked about it yesterday, but where did I put it? I didn't put it in the snow biome, did I? Maybe I deleted it. I think I did delete it. I also got to upgrade the spawners in general. They just kind of suck. I'm sure you guys can tell, like, the major difference here being that there's no metal on the old Scarab. I talked about it already enough yesterday, but yeah, long story short, it's a slightly older version of the model. It doesn't have the upgraded shaders and stuff. Not perfect. I think it does have some unique stuff, but nothing worth not overriding. I like the idea of foreigners being humans, but I also like 313's take of the precursors and stuff, but I'm weird. And they're both good. They're both interesting. It's different, I guess. Oh, anyway, the animations are pretty different, too. You can even see in their poses. Although I will admit, for being a biped and being stripped down, this thing works pretty dang good. Although it does respawn, which is a pretty major issue. Oh, it's using the old Scarab Beam. That's so weird. Yeah, that 
looks so much worse than the new Scarab Beam. It's actually kind of crazy. The new Scarab Beam looks a lot nicer than that. Oh, I lied. There's just no light volumes rendering right now. That's odd. Huh. Hey, what's the haps? Just working on finishing up Ultimate Forge. You're getting everything looking good. Oh, man, I cannot wait to see the kind of maps you guys make. This is going to be so much fun. Give me 10 reasons why you haven't added Wedge Infinite in the map yet. Oh, you sweet, sweet summer child. Don't you know? Wedge Infinite has always been in the map. I definitely want to make a city be affected by the flood. That sounds awesome. That actually sounds so fun. I love how Wardog Run kicked in right as he started falling Wedge Infinite. That's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, this music timing could not be better. Uh, oh, I'm going to ask again, and is Flood Scenery planned? Yeah. I do have Flood Scenery planned, in fact. Flood Scenery is, fun fact, very easy to add. Um, I used to have them on my original non-mod tools mod Arcbound, which is kind of the prequel to this. I'm going to survive this, I'm going to survive this, I'm going to survive this, I'm going to survive this. Yeah, easy. The mod is never releasing. You realize how easy it is to add that stuff, right? Like, it's very easy. It would literally take me, like, no time at all. You know what? Just to prove it, we're going to open the level Cortana. Guys, yeah, we're doing it. Just because Joe's freaking out. Let's open up High Charity, a.k.a. Cortana. What have I missed? Uh, we just redid, spent most of the stream fixing the Sentinel Enforcer. It is now no longer a direct Halo 2 port and is now a vanilla plus Halo 3 type port. Well, basically all I did was re-upscale the textures and redo the shading on the model where it had none before. Man, nobody ever talks about how when you get a tattoo, it just starts peeling like a bad sunburn. It's really gross. Yeah, I'll show it again in a minute, Brains, if you want to see. But I'm opening up the level Cortana right now to see what kind of flood-type scenery I want to add to the mod. Because people really, really want flood-type scenery. And I want it too, to be honest. I miss having it. Flood tendrils are a good one that comes to mind. Um, I want big flood chunks. Maybe also a flood type ground piece, but probably just like one regular sized flood ground piece. Okay, we made it. We're on the level Cortana. 
That's a black box. Let's switch to an actual zone set that has stuff going on. Do set bridge. Okay. Yay, gross flood stuff. Okay, so one of the first things that would be really important here would be these big chunks, these big wall chunks. I want to grab these. A complete version of it, like this one right here. So some flood chunks like that. I'd like to add these little nasty pus falls, the destroyable ones. They can blow up. Uh, what else? So flood chunks, flood, I don't know, whatever the fuck those things are. And where's the other ones? I know they're, they've got to be around here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 where are you? Gotta be here. It's, it's the, it's Hyper's favorite thing. Yo, Electric Taurus, whoa, with the one month at Forerunner tier. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. You said, I fart and it stank. Woo-wee. It's disgusting. Ew. Ew. That's pretty badass. Oh, these things, the flood crust. I need the flood crusts. Various large sizes and shapes of flood crust. Hyper will never play the mod unless I add the flood crust to it. So these big, like, weird mushroom looking things are flood crusts. And I'm going to add the flood crust. I'm going to add these big pustule things here as well. Wait. No way. If you go down here, you can see underneath one of the flood chunks. Wow. Classic Bungie. Fucking up, man. Can you believe that? I can't believe this. But yeah, there's those. Also, I want to add the flood tendrils. Flood tendrils are good. Definitely going to add those. So flood crusts, flood tendrils. I'm not going to add any of this custom flood geometry. Instead, I would either make my own or uh, add the flood pimples. Yeah. And so like four, four flood type objects that come to mind. One, big flood chunks like this. Two, of the flood crust plates. Three, the weird, gross, killable flood pimples. And four, uh, the flood tendrils. Those are what come to mind immediately. Um, and the flood, like, pimply things, I can literally just drag and drop those. I don't even need to do blender stuff. I can literally just make those forgeable. Uh, they just work. As for the flood crust and the flood chunks, that all I have to do is drag them into Blender, make some quick physics models and collision models for them, and yeah, that's basically it. Vanilla Plus is RJ's other favorite flavor of ice cream. That's true. That's true. The door that looks like an asshole. I mean, I don't think I, I don't know if I can make those forgeable, so probably not. Probably not. I don't think those are forgeable. What is this? Is this an unused room? What the fuck? Oh, I see. It's like uh, something that you can see through the floor. That's kind of neat. We got water in here. Whoa, guys, we're out of bounds. Whoa. I wonder if there's any unused areas in this level besides that. I know this place, that's like a dead end hallway. If any level were to have cut content, it would be Cortana, but I think people would have discovered it by now. Oh, hey, a golden moa. Oh, now this is interesting. You guys know, uh,. The old thing how this is not actually high charity and it's they repurposed the cut flood ship mission and then turned it into this. If you needed any more proof of that, check this out. This is actually the um, bridge. This room, it's the bridge of a Covenant ship. It's the same bridge, in fact, that you see Shipmaster in in many cutscenes. This is literally the bridge to a Covenant cruiser. This is not High Charity. This is a Covenant cruiser through and through. That's why there's Covenant cruiser-style doors 
This is, I shit you not, just the bridge to a Covenant cruiser. So yeah, if you if you wanted any hard, like, visible evidence that showed that, here you go. Pretty cool. Zach Fair, thanks for the 10 months. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Are the flood drop pods possible? Um, in what way do you mean? Having the AI spawn in them? No, probably not. Why are we here? We're scoping out flood things to use. But yeah, this is the same like BSP that Shipmaster is in in all those cutscenes that you can like glitch into. But yeah, it's repurposed here. So this is the bridge of a Covenant ship. I think Cortana takes place inside a crashed carrier inside High Charity. Well, Cortana canonically takes place in High Charity, but from a game development standpoint, uh, Bungie repurposed most of the mission Cortana from the uh, mission that was called Flood Ship, which you can still find tons of references to in the files. So Cortana was originally going to be the mission High Charity, where you, there's a Gravemind boss fight, but they scrapped it and they were like, hey, what if we just cut Flood Ship out of the game, wrapped it up in a nice little cutscene, and then we repurposed that into High Charity because, I don't know, problems or something. If you go to Reactor... Fun fact, go replay Floodgate in Halo 3. The first line you hear in the mission is uh, it's Miranda going, we need to get inside that Flood ship and we need to destroy the reactors. Well, guess what Cortana has? The mission Cortana. It has the reactors you were supposed to blow up that you hear Miranda's actual dialogue tell you about. That's right. You were supposed to destroy the Flood ship's reactors and here they are. Somehow they're on high charity now. That's weird. How did that happen? You showed us the file names and numbers before. I know, I know. But there's always new viewers who haven't heard this stuff before. I was actually really sad we didn't get a Grave Mine boss fight. Me too. They forgot to cut that line, probably. Ah, you never know what the reason was. It'll probably something similar to that. But yeah, there you go. Here's the reactor you were supposed to blow up in that flood ship. I wonder if there's any other obvious stuff. So they clearly have the bridge, the Covenant Cruiser bridge. They have the reactors you were supposed to blow up. Damon, thanks for the two months. Much appreciated. Rush development. Yeah, I mean, all the Halo games had to had to inevitably cut content, you know? It'd be like that. Let's see if there's anything else. Actually, before I go to anything else, let's see. This is a reactor section. Is this the part? This is where you find Cortana. I would not at all be surprised if this was also the same room you were supposed to find Cortana in in Flood Ship at one point, because I know you were supposed to find Cortana earlier in the game, then you ended up um, at eventually finding her. It's just interesting because they keep saying like, oh, this is high charity, this is high charity, but very few parts of this level, as far as I know, are actually custom high charity areas. This might maybe be one of them. This also might not be. I actually do not know. To be honest, this whole level kind of feels like it was much older than the rest of the game. Just like the way the textures and materials look. Yeah, that is interesting. Wait, I'm gonna look real quick. Anything else? Just more Covenant Cruiser styled hallways. Yeah, it's definitely not a coincidence that this is like a remake of the Halo CE Covenant Cruiser hallways. I will just continue to reiterate that. Here's the prisoner zone set. Reach had a smooth dev cycle because they recycled all their campaign areas for multiplayer. That is true. I think I heard some Bungie devs say they regret doing that, though. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, we were just here, weren't we? No, they repurposed the... <laughs> they repurposed another... Um, bridge from a Covenant cruiser for that. Right, this part right here. A bunch of flood hallways. Yeah. Well, That's kind of interesting. Anything else? What is Pelican Hill? What is set Pelican Hill? Is this where the end is with Johnson? Isn't that room with the sword in the middle near Halo 2 elevator? And Wait, isn't the room with the sword in the middle near the Halo 2 elevator in High Charity? I don't know. I'm pretty confident that, like, the vast majority of this level was originally built not as High Charity. Like, the vast, vast majority of it was not supposed to be high charity. 
originally, which is why you... There are certain places, like here, this is clearly the High Charity Skybox. You have the Mausoleum of the Arbiter out here, and the entire Skybox is clearly the interior of High Charity. Although I will admit this is definitely one of the weakest Skyboxes in all of Halo 3. I don't know if this was rushed or if they were just like, honestly, nobody's really going to notice. Just make it look decent enough. You, I don't think there's any point in the level which, in which you can look straight up, so this is probably fine for the most part, but... Yeah. It's pretty cool, though. I don't think it's bad. I actually think it's really, really cool. But, yeah. Like, this is all clearly custom for high charity, right? This whole section, they built it after they knew that this was repurposed for it. But also, they can't really deviate from the design too much and repurpose it all to be high charity. So at some point, they were like, all right, everything is Covenant Cruiser ship. Nobody's ever going to notice. It's not like 15 years later, some fucking lore nerd's going to rant about this on his live stream. It's fine. My first in play. I wondered why there was a crashed Pelican in a Cub ship. I think Johnson landed it to pick you up. Pretty sure that's why. Ooh, you guys want to see something interesting? Check this out. In the beginning of the mission, there's this hole to the ceiling where you can see out there. What? Oh, there's a whole space up here. I don't know why, but there is. Probably just so that light can come in, if I had to guess. But yeah. Secret area at the beginning of the level. Giant open space. Ew, what the fuck? Gross. Flood biomass is nasty, man. Imagine if someone brings back the cut flood uh, arbiter's boss fight. I'd like to do that one day if nobody else does. I think it'd be really fun to do. I'd actually like to remake Gravemind at some point. If by the time I decide to do it, nobody else has done it, yeah, I'll make it. I, I compiled a bunch of lists of like data and stuff relating to the cut high charity mission. And taking a look at most of this mission, there is so much that I could repurpose and reuse to make the entire mission. I would still need to do a lot myself, and I have some 3D modeling to get better at before I'd feel confident enough to actually make it. But, like, yeah, no, it's actually totally doable. Assembly map had a sick high charity skybox. Wait, did assembly take place in high charity? Let me see this. I don't remember that. Where's assembly? What was its name in the files? Um, chill out, descent, docks, fortress, ghost town, lockout, lockout, sandbox, shared. What was assembly called in the files? Why is it hard for me to find right now? Let me look it up. Descent. Okay, it's descent. I have not taken too close of a look at Assembly Skybox. It's the High Charity Vehicle Forge. I gotta see that. I love the thunder noises next to the mausoleum. That's cool. I agree. It's very cool. It's all flooded. Not, you know, flooded, flooded, but flooded. Funny enough, I'm just finishing Assembly and Infinite. No shot. That's dope. Assembly's a really great multiplayer map. That was like one of the best multiplayer maps that I remember from Halo 3. It was super fun to play on. Oh, I remember this now. Because Green made a mod with the skybox. I totally forgot about this. Yeah, assembly skybox goes hard. Like, look at that. What the fuck is even going on up there? You got your unfinished prototype scarabs coming out. Big scarab skeleton. They're electrifying it. Ah. They did it. Nice. Very cool. To all the people that says they grow their Covenant vehicles, erm, um, this map would disagree with that. I don't see them growing anything here. In fact, it almost looks like they're manufacturing it. Hmm. Lore heads are in shambles right now. This 
This is such a cool effect. Oh, I love that steam particle. It's only good in the distance, but it looks really cool. Would you be willing to support my cause of getting my friend to draw the daisy bean can? Yes, please draw the daisy bean can immediately. You know how important this is. This is really cool though. I love the skybox of this map. That's dope. Like, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Maybe they're just growing stuff. I don't know, but it's really neat. There's weird greebles on the ceiling. I don't know what the fuck's going on there, but it looks cool. All of it just looks really cool. This is such a cool dude. The fucking cool fucking map. I love it. Oh no, what's going on there? Is that just a cube map? No, if it was a cube map, it wouldn't be that detailed. What is going on there? Now this is a shader I want to know more about. Is it a Cortana hologram shader? Is that how they're faking depth? Oh man, I gotta know. I gotta know now. That's really cool. I could use that for stuff. That's not just a cube map. Halo 3, tell me your secrets. Levels, DLC, Descent, Sky, Shaders, wait, Scarab Ink. I like that they called the Scarab in the Skybox Scarab Ink. That's cool. Gate Beam Glow. It's like Scarab Incorporated. Uh, where's the water? Reactor Coolant Moat. Oh, that is it. No, oh, is it? That's overlay stuff. Yeah, layer depth 0.1. That's it. It's literally just a hologram shader so that it can fake the depth of these things, but there's actually no depth. There's no real depth to it at all. In fact, there's nothing there. It's all an illusion, like the water in the or the uh, alcohol in Half-Life Alex. It's faking you out. Don't believe the lies. In fact, if I move quick enough, you can actually see the depth illusion kind of fall apart. We can see the actual layers to it. You can see them spread out. It's hard to see because they're masking it really well with the water like uh, distortion, but it is there. Relax, buddy. Alexander, thank you very much for the 10. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Yes, they are grown in the vats of nanomachines that surround the map. That assembly is on. That looks like water. The scrab is also a bio vehicle since it uses like golo worms for motion power. Hmm. I mean, I can't argue with that. They're very clearly growing shit down here. It's also really gross and like dank. And those are some banger steam effects. Why am I not using those for stuff? Hot out of the forges right there. <laughs> Damn, Onikai with the $20 tip. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Halo 3 and reaches some of those beautiful skyboxes ever changed my mind. I cannot change your mind. It is a hard agree for me. One thing Bungie has always done excellent at is just phenomenal skyboxes. Absolutely phenomenal. And honestly, 343 has done a great job with some of the skyboxes too. I, I can't just say that's like a Bungie exclusive thing. Just Halo skyboxes in general, slap. That is not a Bungie exclusive thing. Though I will say, Bungie definitely is like amazing at it. Even going into Destiny, man. The skyboxes in Destiny as well. Ooh, so good. I remember flying around this map in Sapien. This map is unreasonably massive. Go fly to the very edge of it. Ah, oh, shit, I just left it. I did a little bit earlier. I don't know if you were watching. It's, I, I did see it's crazy big. Skybox is enormous. Green, do you want to play, Green, do you want to play Cursed Halo Reach with me sometime soon? <laughs> Probably after I release the first test version of Ultimate Forge. Nick with the five dollar. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Damn, we're actually making progress on tip goal today. I love you guys. I appreciate it. You said check supporter chat. Got nothing to better to do while this loads. 
going on in supporter chat? What the fuck is going on? What is this? Is this an early version of Assembly? Oh, what the fuck? No, it, you remade it in it. You did this? Holy fuck. This looks insane. Are you kidding me? This looks really insane. I literally thought this was like a development screenshot from like Halo 3. No, you just made this an infinite. Holy shit. That's wild. God damn. Nice work. This is crazy. The attention to detail. Also, I appreciate that you kind of did your own thing with the skybox. You, like, didn't make it one-to-one. -one. You kind of, like, took your own creative liberties, which is honestly a step above and beyond a one-to-one -one recreation. Because you really have to have your own vision for it. This looks amazing. I hope you can find a cool way to make, like, a like a like some kind of covenant object actually go through the forge. That would be cool. I mean, it's such a minor detail. Nobody will ever notice. It's all really about the gameplay of the map, but... Still, this is a stellar job. I'm so impressed, honestly. Wow. That's so cool. What the fuck? Good shit. Green, I'm not I'm not playing Halo Wars 2. I do need to finish the game with you though, but I don't want to do any 3v3s. But we should all Do you want to do Cursed Halo Reach playthrough? People are saying it's actually really good. I like have heard whispers about it. But I have not looked into it at all. Yes? Oh, bet. I had so much fun playing Curse Taylor with you. I, or the, like, CE. Play it now! No, everybody will get mad at me. They're going to be like, Rejected's not... Rejected's not uh, doing Ultimate Forge. Um, I think he's quitting Ultimate Forge because he stopped working on it to play a video game. Do you have any idea how close to the object limit you are for Ultimate Forge? I have no idea. But the good news is I have a bunch of random crate and little signpost objects that I've pulled from like Foundry or Sandbox that I can just get rid of if I need space. But I, I think I'm still good on space. I'm pretty sure I'm still good on space. I think the first Ultimate Forge was at like, I don't know, it was definitely not close to... No, I can actually check, because I have not touched it. Old Ultimate Forge, without any of the new objects I'm adding, which is probably around 30-ish right now. Let's see, let's see. Where did that put me at? Down with the daisy bean can revolution. Ultimate get on Halo Wars 2. Um, freaking no. Okay, does it say how many are in here? That's a lot of fucking vehicles. Good lord. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 30 with frigate reach there. Fifty three vehicles? Some of those are just not worth being in there. There's gotta be a way to minimize that. Fifty three plus another like thirty five ish ends up at like eighty eight. Plus all the equipment, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Brings it up to like 100. Then the scenery palette, probably another 50. So we have like 150. This is probably, what, like 60 or 70, which brings us... Ooh, that's cutting it close, actually. Brings it up to like 200-ish. That's it's gotten it pretty close to 250. I'm gonna have to cut some objects from the mod. I'll have to count it to be sure, but that's really close to the 255 limit. Good news is there's definitely some things that are like way too unfinished in the vehicle palette that people barely touched. That would be worth removing. 
some of my like scarab spawners, for example. Um, I don't want to remove the cobra and stuff because they were still pretty cool, but nobody really used them in their maps. Gotta upgrade the hawk to the new sparrow hawk. Um, the friendly flyable phantom. I guess I'll keep that in there. My vehicles are used all the time. Um, fair point. I mean, I would sooner I would sooner keep the vehicles and remove stuff like small wooden bridge, fusion. Well, I kind of want to keep fusion coils, but like the large. You no, know, I don't see a lot of these are pretty useful. But like, I I might remove like the golf. No, people use the golf stuff. Damn, people use everything. What the fuck, man? Why do people use everything? Remove the janky cargo truck. Oh, right. I kind of like the cargo truck, though. But yeah, I'll definitely remove some stuff. I'll. What I'm going to do is redo the entire forge list, and then if there's, n n like, if there's still over 255, I'll just start deleting, deleting, deleting until we get below 255. You want to remove the Cobra, but not the cargo truck? Listen, man. Listen. Listen. You know what, actually, the cover is kind of slick. I was going to be like, it probably doesn't have sharps marks, but no, I think it does actually. No, don't show how ugly it is. Not that bad. Is this Halo Wars 2? Is this Halo Wars 1? I was gonna say, Halo Wars 2 stuff generally looks better than- Oh, Jesus Christ! He's pulling his cock out! Unit you know vehicle does look good, though? Where is it? The Marauder. This thing came out pretty nice, actually. Oh, the particles aren't rendering right because of my stupid performance throttles. You know, I'm, I'm removing those stupid performance throttles. They've done nothing but cause me issues because I just spammed a bunch of numbers in like an idiot. I'll fix that later. But I actually really like the Marauder. I'm totally biased because I got weird and decided to spend a bunch of time modifying its visuals. But I actually do think it looks good. And Green did like an amazing job porting this already on his own and got the physics like super fucking nice as well. Which gave me like, like I barely did anything on this at all. This is like 99% green. And this thing is really cool. I love this vehicle. It's like a better revenant, actually. What is the turret? I forget how the turret works on this thing. Oh yeah, it's like a red, like sniper. This definitely needs a trail. It's too tiny of a projectile that moves too quickly. You almost can't see it. The grizzly? I don't think the grizzly ever got like. No, Green tried working on the Grizzly for a long, long time. I think this is the newest version of the Grizzly. Pretty slick, actually. It's not bad. And the shaders definitely need a little bit of love, though. I hate to say it, but... I do need a little bit of love. Um, the shading is a little messed up on it. 
And it's mostly the the only real issues I have with this is just like shading and materials. Like the the black parts need to be a separated material. I know they share the same textures, but they need to be on a separate material. And there's no sharps marked anywhere, so it looks kind of blobby. Even just auto sharps would be nice. I don't have the sounds on it. That's right. Those are on an old thing. No, but Green did put a good amount of work into making uh, a lot of the model parts, like 3D, which looks really good. Oh, God. And it's got a little bit of animation first. Though. Crispy. Am I honest, in my opinion, the ship has four separate maps purely for forge pallet limit? I refuse! But I mean, you have some points. The only problem is it would only save like 20 slots. I just don't want to upload four maps to the workshop that all have like the same content on them. Maybe one day I'll switch it up. Maybe one day. What about the Sentinel Enforcers randomly destroying things in the background? It's me! It's not randomly destroying things! I'm a person! It's destroying me! How does the... Alright, Green. Make a compromise with me here. Actually, maybe not. What do you guys think? How do you feel about the, the Banished Banshee? I actually really like the sounds and stuff on it. It feels a little chunky, obviously, because it's an RTS vehicle, but... It's actually pretty slick. You know what this would be really good with? Is uh, a retextured Halo 2 Anniversary Banshee with the armor plating applied over it. That would be really nice. It's cool but there's a lot of overlap with the regular Banshee. Yeah, I'm actually not sure if it has stat differences. Oh no, the marker. It only has a one left marker for the boost. No! I really like it though. Remove the Heretic Banshee? Honestly, yeah, I should. I've had the Heretic Banshee for so long because it was the first like vehicle I ever put into Halo 3. And I'm very attached to it. And I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's also really old and completely useless. I don't think anyone's ever used the Heretic Banshee. Kind of neat looking, though. I think. What does it look like? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's cool looking. That's about it, though. Pretty useless, though, yeah. Remaster? There's not much I could do to really remaster it. It's actually pretty well done for... Even though this is like an old thing that I did. I learned a lot about importing vehicles and stuff through it. But no, it's actually pretty good. Like as far as the Halo 3 engine goes and getting this one-to-one -one with Halo 2 Anniversary's multiplayer. Where it came from. That's not bad actually. It's, it's pretty solid. Will I update the vampire model? Oh, right! There's a new vampire model made by Chow or Chaos. I forget which one. Fuck yeah! I totally forgot about that. Oh, man. Oh, hell yeah! I'm so glad you reminded me of that. I gotta put that on the list. That is a neat must-have. Next streamer now? Uh, good question. Good question. I did have some things I want to do tonight, but I... Hmm, do I want to... Because it'll take a while. You want the tags there for the vampire would make porting quicker? Um, are they not already to... Oh, right, because you put them... Yes, I would love that, Skabooli. I thought they were already released as tags, but no, it was released as just a model. Yes, if you could send me them, that would be amazing. I'd really appreciate it. Vampire blend files are up on the drive. Oh, okay. Oh, that would be so sick. The updated vampire would look amazing in this. It sucks, though, because Green spent so much time doing damage states and stuff on it, but also 
You can't really beat a fully custom modeled vehicle. Okay, yeah, I can grab that from the drive, which means actually I already have them all on my PC. Well, let me check something before I go deep into another part of this stream really quickly. Ow. I need more hot take. Oh, I'm sorry to tell you, Achilles, uh, the Han thing is canceled. Uh, there's no plans to make any more in the time being. I've moved on from that era. But I'm glad that you enjoyed it enough to come in here and ask. An entry animation for the Mega Mantis? You bet. By, by entry animation, I mean I just reuse the Wraith animation. Start the mod tools is doing that weird sound thing. Ah! Scary, very scary. <sighs> I don't know if we're craving to have Ultimate Forge 2.0 to be released. I am craving to have it released. I want to see people make cool maps. Will the new vampires art style fit Halo 3? If it, yeah, it will, for sure. It definitely looks more reach than three, but I'll do some shader shenanigans to do my best to make it fit. Oh wait, Skaboodly, did you re-UV map anything or did you just modify the textures for your reach one? Because I feel like the original textures might match better in Halo 3 than the reach ones you made, though I'm not sure. Yo, what? Green just sent me a custom remodel of the Cobra that somebody made for Arma? Wait, what? Did they give permission to use this green? Because this looks sick as fuck. It's so well done. God damn. Oh, I like that it has a spare tire on the back. That's cool. I did modify the textures, but the source map tiff should have the OG textures way down at the bottom of the layer stack. Oh, okay, good to know. Oh, you guys can't see. I was showing it. My bad. My bad. Yeah, this is what it looks like. The Cobra, uh, apparently modeled for Arma, looks really good, actually. Pretty damn good. I like it. That's that's well done. Oh god, another massive chance, and you could go on the Falcata. Oh no, you're right. Oh, you're right, Skaboodly. I don't know how you could get it working in Halo 3. It would be kind of cursed. It would be kind of cursed. It wouldn't be nearly as cool as it is in Reach. It would have to have, like, sacrifices made. It wouldn't be able to VTOL at all. Well, no, not really. A lot of reaches function animation stuff that is unique to it. Would make it very difficult to use. Wait, I was pinged in the infinite chat on my server. All right, I'm looking. This is the first time the Halo Infinite channel has been used on my server in 16 years. Oh, damn. Wish I could just show Discord. It would make things so much easier. Ooh, that looks clean, actually. What the hell? Kind of crazy that you're pulling this off in Infinite. I like this screenshot a lot. That looks really nice and moody. Same with this one. Dude, your assembly remake is going crazy. 
Ooh. Some of these screenshots look really nice. You said it's not finished, but the map layout is. So you're still working on like some of the visuals, I would imagine. Like polishing it up and stuff. Yeah, the map layout looks very clean. Some of like the lighting and the colors and how it pops and everything look really, really good. I'm impressed, genuinely. God damn. God damn. Is this Forge? Yeah. This is, uh, <clears throat> this is the Infinite Forge remake of Halo 3's assembly here. Look how nice it is. That's so fucking good. So fucking good. I'm actually impressed. I zoned out there for a second. I like it. Yeah. Okay. I made up my mind. As always, I'm going to end stream around here. Uh, tomorrow, I want to do a long stream. It's been a while since I streamed longer than like three to four hours. Uh, so I really want to do a long stream tomorrow. I don't really have any plans, but I had plans tonight. So I gotta, I'm gonna end, and so I can still have some of my night remaining for my plans. But I'm gonna head out to a sleep stream. Yeah, you guys would like that, wouldn't you? Curse Healer Reach tomorrow? I wish. Now I'm gonna keep working on Ultimate Forge tomorrow. Um, but I'm also gonna work on all the boring stuff off stream and get this all organized. Uh, by tomorrow, when I start stream, I should have all the terrain pieces done. Hopefully I'll have reorganized and renamed a bunch of stuff on the Forge menu. And I... God, I'm just going to knock out all the boring shit so that I can... Could I have a test version of Ultimate Forge up for tomorrow? Maybe. Maybe. I might have a test version of Ultimate Forge up tomorrow. I, I'm not going to promise it, but there's a chance. There is an actual real chance. But I'll, you'll, you'll find out. You'll find out tomorrow. Um, but yeah. I'm going to try getting all the boring stuff done tonight. It really is totally doable. So... You'll find out by tomorrow whether or not there's a test version up for all. I'll, I'll leave it up for supporters, but I'll also show the link on stream so that you guys watching, even if you're not a member or whatever, you guys can go download it. Like, as always, my my mods are not exclusive, but I'm just only doing test releases uh, in a public setting to people in my supporter chat. But, of course, if you watch the stream, you can just grab the link and download it yourself. It's not exclusive. But what is exclusive are the many play tests that we're going to be doing in the lobbies that I'm going to be hosting live on stream very soon so if you guys want to become youtube members and join that join on youtube at the bottom hit the join button and then join my discord server those will be happening real soon but for now i'm gonna end the stream i'm gonna go do stuff tonight i want to give a shout out to all of you who supported me today it's been awesome so many new members we got some good progress on our daily uh mod goal so thank you guys for that i really appreciate it as always thank you for all the support all the good ideas for chilling out while i've just been ranting about stuff and getting some work done Get on Overwatch. I'm not playing video games tonight. I'm going out, and I'm also coming back and working on the mod. I'm in grind mode. I'm on the Sigma grind set, Green Knight. You just wouldn't understand. You can't go out. Oh, but I can. I'll be doing a longer stream tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to kind of be my sprint, if anything, to get, like, a ton of work done on this. If I don't have a test version out... By tomorrow, then it's going to for sure be... A, well, it's going to be a sprint no matter what I do. Because I have a bunch of stuff to finish. Stay home like a true Halo modder? I don't think I will. All right, no, I'm out, though. Thank you guys again for everything today. It's been a great stream. I'll be streaming, like I said, much longer stream tomorrow. So, flat tiles, yes. Stuff like that. I'm out. Have a good night, you guys. I will see you tomorrow for big stream. Huge stream. Enormous, large stream. Massive, huge stream. Big Huge, enormous, large stream. Biggest, most massive stream, large, huge.
large, huge stream. Massive, large. Make sure to be there. Don't forget to be there, guys. You got this. I'll see you there.